So this is the Nova DS Cloud interface. I'll give you a quick run through to get an idea of some of the functionality that's included. So this is our dashboard. We can have a, a quick summary, an overview of our account, our subscription service, uh, but also how many devices are registered to this account, how many users, how many playlists, and we can see uh, a stream there of our latest activity. Going into the Devices tab, we can see a list of devices that are registered to this organization. This is our, our sales team's login. We can see which devices quickly are online, which are offline. We can see, the, obviously, the name of the devices, and we can see what they're displaying. Uh, and if we drill down a little bit more into them, we can get a snapshot, so we can see exactly what's playing on there and some further information. We can see what playlists, what schedules, and what announcements have been uploaded onto those devices. And we can also see who's got access to that particular device. In our settings menu, we can change network settings, we can change the device, uh, and we can also update them if they need a firmware update. We can register a new device very simply by clicking here and entering the eight-digit code that's shown on the splash screen of the Nova Display or one of the other ecosystem products. In our Playlist tab, we can see all of the playlists that have been created by various users, uh, but we can also create all of our content straight from the Nova DS Cloud by clicking on Create Playlist, we can choose the hardware that we want that playlist to play on. So that could just be the Novo Display, or it could be some of the other devices in the ecosystem. And then we can select from either a grid template, we can select the flexible layout, or we can choose from some of the pre-designed designer templates, and we can simply just go in and change perhaps the text or some of the images. We're adding to these all the time. Let's choose a basic grid for now and we'll see what some of the content is. So, down the left-hand side in our playlist window now, we've got uh, our different types of content. So, firstly, media. Uh, we can choose from either local media, so still images, video files, and we can upload those from our laptop. Or we could choose remote video, perhaps from an FTP server or an online drive. Web pages, we can just give it a URL and it will display the web page. Uh, YouTube. Same again, give it the YouTube link and it will play the video straight from the web. IP stream, so that's the network stream, so it could be perhaps from a CCTV camera. Text, different fonts, sizes, uh, scrolling, not scrolling, lots of options there. Twitter feeds, Facebook or Instagram, RSS feeds, uh, weather, uh, clocks, calendars, either from uh, Google, Microsoft or iCal. Video in, some of our devices, like the NCX900 standalone box has an HDMI input, so we could have a, a video input as part of our signage layout. Uh, and then recently we added a people counting tool, uh, and this links with a people counting camera, uh, and this will take information and count people in or out of a particular space. So great in a retail environment uh, for COVID, COVID applications, but also beyond that, we can trigger certain types of content uh, when people are at a certain occupancy, so great for, for retail applications. Uh, we can also have different shapes, so if you didn't want your content in a rectangle or in a, in a square, we can have different shapes there as well. When we finish creating our playlist, and we can have multiple pages to a playlist as well, uh, we can save it, we can preview it straight from the Nova DS Cloud interface, or we can publish it to one or to many devices uh, that we can see online. So, let's come out of here. That's how we create our content. Next in our library, we can see content that's been uploaded by various users, and we can then share that content and use it to create playlists. Next in our Users tab, we can see all of our users for this organization, and we can see their different levels of access. If we add a new user, we can simply enter their email, they'll get an invitation to join, uh, and we can set them at a particular level, so we can have administrator, publisher, and designer with varying levels of access. In the Scheduling tab, we can schedule different playlists to play at different times of the day or different times of the week. We can add a new schedule very simply, and we can have a simple editor view where items appear in a list. We can add an item, uh, we can give it a description, set its frequency, add a playlist to that item. Uh, or if we want a slightly more visual view, we can select the calendar view and add items in to particular days of the week or month. Nice and straightforward to create a schedule. 
In our announcements tab, we can see that we've got some predefined announcements created. Um, and these can be for emergencies, as we've got some examples here for a fire drill, or it could be a flash promotion to advertise on a screen. And then we can choose those to appear either uh, on one or many devices, and we can choose how big we want that to appear on screen, and we can choose whether it stays there indefinitely until we change it, or we can choose it to be there for a set amount of time. So great, again, for promotions. So that's a very quick overview of the Novo DS Cloud. You can register for a free trial at novods.com.